Leroy's Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough Part 5. Now that we've gotten the first gym badge and defeated Brock, we can move on to the next route. And, um, yeah, one thing you'll notice right away is that there's this guy right here, and it's actually Professor Oak's assistant guy. And, um, yeah, he notices you and he starts talking to you. And this guy is nice because he has a, a delivery thing for you. He gives you the running shoes. And normally you get those at the beginning of the game in, like, the newer games. But, yeah, you get it, like, after the first gym, which is a little bit different. But they're pretty nice to have because, um, yeah, they have the directions on here, which is kind of funny. Like, press B to run fast. And then, yeah, your mom has a little ladder and stuff. But, yeah, you can hold down B and then you can just simply run. So, yeah, those are pretty nice to have because... Until you get your bike, that's pretty much the fastest way to get around. So yeah, this is the um, new route up here, and there are a lot of trainers. I'm just going to go through um, the fast way first, just so I can show you the way to get through here without having to fight everybody. Just because I like to do that, but yeah. And there's a bug catcher. He says he saw me in the Viridian Fort, so I guess this guy was like... I don't know, did I fight him? Let's see. Bug catcher Colt. Um, no, there was no bug catcher Coltman in the Viridian Forest. Wow, this guy is lying to me, and it's kind of pathetic. <laughs> but he does have a Caterpie, which we can take out with Ember, and Charmander's actually going to evolve pretty soon, which is actually probably at the end of this battle, actually, to a Charmeleon. And typically when I play through this game, uh, whether I have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur or a Charmander like this, my Pokemon usually evolves sometime on this route, which, yeah, it's probably about where you should be evolving. Unless you're using like seven Pokemon at the beginning of the game or something. I don't know why you'd have seven, but yeah. Unless you're using like a ton of Pokemon, you probably should be around 16 at this point. So yeah. And Ember this Caterpie. Now, one thing I have to wonder, like, you know how that guy wouldn't let us through this route before until we challenged Brock? How did this guy get through here? Because there's no way he beat Brock. And he said, I beat you again, except no, you were not in the Viridian Forest, so I never fought you. I mean, he's such a liar. But yeah, Charmander's evolving, which is pretty awesome, because Charmeleon is a pretty sweet Pokemon to have. Um, so yeah, I really like the uh, second evolution stages for all the starters, like Charmeleon, War Turtle, and Ivysaur. Like, I don't know, but I really like those Pokemon a lot. And Charmeleon's probably one of the best out of those three, just because it gets some really nice special attack, which comes in handy. Uh, yeah, we can go around this guy and... Uh, let's fight this bug catcher here, and yeah, like I was saying, like, remember that guy who said you can't come into this route until you've challenged Brock? Like, what about all these trainers? Because these people obviously didn't beat Brock, like these bug catchers, like, honestly, a Weedle? Are we supposed to believe that some guy with a Weedle beat Brock? I mean, honestly, come on. No, no one, that's not even possible. But yeah, how did the, like, why doesn't he stop these people from getting through? Because then maybe we could just, like get through this entire thing without having to fight all these trainers, but instead, we have to waste our time fighting Kakunas, which is not fun, because it's so easy. It's like, it's not even challenging, because they haven't even hit me once, and I've already bought like five Pokemon. It's kind of embarrassing. Ah, but more Caterpies, more Embering, same thing over and over, and, um, yeah. I, one thing I noticed, I only have a Charmeleon at this point. There aren't really too many other Pokemon to catch. Unless you want like a Beedrill or a Butterfree or a Pidgeot or a Pharaoh, but I don't really feel like using any of those. So at some time, sometime soon, I'm going to have to find a second member from my team. I mean, at least before Charmeleon gets to like level 30 before I have anything else, because that would just be like dumb. <laughs> if I had a new Pokemon, I would have won. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe because you have all Weedles and Caterpies. Ah, <sighs> jeez. But okay, here's another trainer. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. If you just caught them, then there's they're probably not that high level, so this should be easy. Bug catcher James. Is it just a coincidence that all the bug catchers look the exact same? Because I think that'd be kind of weird if you're walking through a route and they're like three bug catchers completely identical. I mean, I think that'd just be kind of scary. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see. He has ooh, a Metapod. Uh, I I still don't know why they don't just evolve into a Butterfree. Because then that would actually be fun to fight a Butterfree, you know? Because it'd be something different, but no. He has to have a level 11 Metapod. I mean, I really just don't understand. Done like dinner. Who says that? I mean, really? Who says done like dinner? Uh, I tell you, these bug catchers, I, I just, I'll never understand. I just never understand. 
Okay, I finally found this Nidoran. And okay, if you're trying to catch a Nidoran and Leaf Green, it takes forever, but I finally got it. And looks like I'm going to be able to catch it. And yeah, this is going to be the second thing I use on my team. Uh, this Nidoran here, which is actually a pretty nice Pokemon to have because you can get it right off the bat in the game. And it's a pretty powerful Pokemon once it evolves. Um, actually, if you played blue or red, you can get them earlier, but in Leaf Green and Fire Red, you have to wait till this point to catch them. But yeah, there we go. We got the Nidoran. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty nice Pokemon to have. Um, and that, as you saw, it has that Poison Point ability, which will probably be pretty useful. Uh, it stiffens its ears to sense danger or a large one. Okay, yeah, that's nice. And nickname. Um, I don't really have that creative of a nickname, so I'm just going to name it just a random name. I'm going to call you Ivan. Don't really know why. I just think that's a cool name for a Nidoran. Because Nidoran kind of looks like an Ivan. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But yeah, let's heal up that um, poison to the Charmander. And. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cool animations for potions and stuff. But yeah. So, Blaze is good. He's all healed up. And we'll move Nidoran to the front. Um, we're not going to battle with it yet. Because it's only a level 6, plus it's almost dead. But we can use the old um, switch out and get the experience. Yeah, switch out and get the experience strategy, which usually works pretty well. And we're going to test it out on this trainer. That you, look you gave me, it's so intriguing. And these, these people, these last trainers, they're so like, I don't know, they, 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 they like freak out if you look at them. I, I don't understand. Yeah, Ivan can't do anything at now, or at this point, so we're just going to do the old switcherooski strategy. You can call it what you want. Some people call it a bait and switch. I'd like to call it the switcherooski strategy. Just because it's it's fun to say. But yeah. And yeah, now I will be getting half the experience. Which is probably the best way to... Well yeah, it is the best way to train your low level Pokemon. Especially since you don't have the experience share or anything at this point. Nidoran female. Yeah, there are... You can get the Nidoran males or Nidoran female. Depending on... Like if you want a Nido King, you can get this kind of Nidoran. If you want a Nido Queen, you can get that kind of Nidoran. Um, it doesn't really matter. They're both pretty good. I just like the male kind better because I like Nido King. I think it's a pretty awesome Pokemon. But yeah, same old strategy. Switch out. Kill thing off with Ember and yeah, that easy. Oh, dang it. Ah, stupid Nidoran. Just has to ruin everything. But yeah, we can Ember it again. One more time. And ooh, critical hit. Thank you very much for giving it to me when I didn't need it. That was really helpful. Ah, but yeah, last Sally. Be nice. What? What? Seriously? What am I supposed to do? Lose to you on purpose just so that I can be nice? That's, that's just stupid. But yeah, um, okay, I think we're good here. Oh yeah, and I want to look at... Whoa! Bashful nature? Bashful... They both are a bashful nature. That is just the weirdest thing. And yeah, all I have really now is the Leer Impact, but... Yeah, and there's the whole thing, like... My Charmander had a bashful nature, then it switched to like, I don't know, some other kind of nature, and then back to a bashful, but yeah, that, I'm, I, I'm sorry for all the random game switching I had to do, but it's all good now. And we're going to fight you, right now. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. And that, ha that has to be one of the best lines, like it's a classic line in the Pokemon games, that youngster there who's just like, Shorts are comfy and easy to wear. I mean, I don't know why that's such a great line, but I always just find that funny. <laughs> yeah, and he has um, a Rattata and an Ekans on his team. And this guy used to be really hard in the earlier games because um, Rap was kind of messed up back in the first generation, like the actual first generation, like fire or red and yellow and stuff. But now it's kind of fixed, so it's not as hard. And what is with this Rattata living with one health? That's just dumb. But yeah, he's going to quick attack. Scratch him back, and... Yeah, there we go. And yeah, Ivan's actually grown up pretty quickly, which is pretty nice. And focus energy. Um, probably won't really need it, but it could come in handy at some point. Okay, Ekans. I don't really want to mess around with Ekans. Because I don't know. I just, I'm just i just going to kill him now. Don't want to risk some weird thing happening. Like, if I get... I don't even think it can poison me, but oh well, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I'll just ember it now. And hopefully, uh, whatever. Poison thing. Yeah, I didn't want to get, like, switched in and get poisoned, but... Oh, I did anyways, so it looks like it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, that's just gonna make it... I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center now, because I only got one antidote, but oh well. Looks like, um... It's probably the last trainer battle we're gonna get through. 
so we'll get up a level with Charmeleon. No experience for Nidoran though, but oh well, not that big of a deal. So we defeat Youngster Ben, and I don't believe it! Ha ha! Well, you better believe it, Youngster Ben, because you just got owned. So yeah, no more antidotes. So I guess we're going to have to go back and heal, and we will continue the route next time.